In this video, we will use Tina TI's transient analysis function to investigate the time domain response of a circuit. This is similar to what we would see with an oscilloscope. Our circuit will consist of an 820 ohm resistor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, and a 390 ohm resistor. If you're not familiar with Tina TI's schematic capture procedure, please review the video covering introductory DC simulations for details. We'll use a voltage generator to drive the circuit. We'll set it to a sine wave at 1 kHz. We'll also set the amplitude to 1 volt peak. After wiring the circuit, we'll add three voltage measurement points. We'll label these A, B, and C. To start the simulation, go to the Analysis menu and select Transient. A small settings window will open. Here, we can set the start and end times for the simulation. We'll delay the simulation start to skip over the power transient. This allows us to see the stabilized results. Set the start time to 1 millisecond and the end time to 3 milliseconds. Also, uncheck the Draw Excitation box. We won't need it as it's the same as the voltage at point A. Select OK. The graphing window opens. The voltages at the three measurement points are displayed. We can change the attributes of a wave by double-clicking on it. This includes the color and width. The time axis and voltage axis may be customized by double-clicking on them. If desired, we can separate the curves. From the View menu, select Separate Curves. Each curve will have its own graph with proper scaling. Other customizations are available through the View menu. Return to the combined graph by selecting Collect Curves from the View menu. From the toolbar, select the legend icon and then click a convenient location for it. To measure voltages and phase shifts, we'll use the measurement cursors. Select the A cursor and click on the input wave. This is the curve labeled A. The measurement window opens.
By moving the cursor, we can determine the voltage at specific times. We can determine phase shifts by using both cursors. First move the cursor to the positive zero crossing at 2 milliseconds. Now select the B cursor and click on the small wave labeled C. Move the B cursor so that it is at the positive zero crossing prior to 2 milliseconds. The readout indicates a time differential of about 146 microseconds. In other words, the smaller waveform is leading the input by 146 microseconds. To get the phase shift, divide this by the period of the input and then multiply by 360 degrees. It works out to about 53 degrees. To see a differential voltage, we could use a voltmeter. However, it's easier to use the post processor. The post processor allows us to create expressions that will be plotted. The possibilities are extensive. First, let's clean up the display by removing the cursors and the legend. Select the post processor from the toolbar. Its settings window opens. Click on the More button in the lower right. To plot the voltage from point A to point C, Select A from the left-hand pane. Copy it down to the line editor. Now select the subtract function. Finally, select and copy C from the left-hand pane. Let's give this a descriptive name like VAC. Select Create, and then OK. A new curve has been added to the display. Select the legend to verify. The new curve can be customized and also measured with the cursors, as desired. Finally, graphs can be saved, opened, or printed through the file menu. And with that, we conclude our introduction to Tina TI's transient analysis function. Thanks for watching.